How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to go over how to change the controls on this from the standard uh, like backhoe controls more to the excavator style controls. I don't remember what terminology is for each one but basically I want the the boom up and down and the swing on this stick and I want the dipper in and out and curl on this stick. All right, so I actually already did this. So I'm gonna take this back apart and show you exactly what I did. It's not as diff difficult as I would have thought it would be. Um, so let's get started. To start with, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a 12 millimeter um, ratchet or socket. Cause we have to take off these covers for the joysticks here. So there's a Phillips screw there, and then you can pull this handle off. And that'll let you pull off this section too, this little midsection. And then there's four Phillips screws that hold this, the rest of this boot down to this, uh, this cover here. So we'll take all those screws out, we'll get these covers taken off. And then we're gonna take out these four bolts. So it's one, two, three, four. Those are 12 millimeter. And this cover, we can lift up and off to get access to the valve body behind here because we got to swap some hoses around. Uh, I also want to preface, preface this with saying, uh, make sure your boom is down on the ground, supported, and you have no hydraulic pressure anywhere in those hoses or cylinders because you are going to disconnect hoses. It's going to drip just a little bit of fluid while you have those hoses disconnected. It's not bad at all. You can throw your rag down underneath there, um, catch most of it, easy cleanup. It's not bad at all. All right, so first let's take these covers off. You can use just a regular Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna use this, save a little time. My wife's recording, she's already cranky. <laughs> it's cold in the garage. So there's that one. And then the four screws around the base. I mean, my really hot camera woman that I hired solely for her looks. <laughs> you say hi to the camera now because your face looks awesome. Okay, so one screw here, four screws down here. And this cover's just come right off. Halfway there. So next we're gonna take out these, we're gonna take out these four bolts. 12 millimeter. All right, this is why it's so important to have your boom all the way down where nothing's gonna move when you start hitting these because you pull this cover up, you're gonna have to move these to get it off. So here's your valve body and all your hoses. Um, so the two functions we're switching 
are the forward and back of each of these main joysticks here. So it's the third hose in on each one. And you gotta take, take it in pairs. So it's the third valve here. You're gonna do the top hose and the bottom hose. Just take your top hose. It's a 17 millimeter uh, wrench. If your excavator that you bought comes with the same tools mine did, there's a short 17 millimeter wrench. If you could show in the box here. Came okay, with this guy. That's what I use, 17 millimeter. They are not very tight. It's just the O-ring in there that makes the seal. I'm not gonna take this all the way off because like I said, I've already did this and it's done, but tighten that back up. But take your top and bottom hose off. It's kind of tight. There is room underneath to get in there to these. And you're going to swap these two pairs. So take these two off. Mark them if you have to so you don't lose track of what they are. Sorry. These two. Because there's a third one in. That cylinder. That valve, I mean. These two off. Then take these two off. Because it's that valve. And you're just going to swap those. Top goes to top. Bottom goes to bottom. It's as simple as that. And then you have your excavator style controls versus backhoe controls. Now that the hoses have been swapped, we're going to go ahead and put our covers back on. Uh, actually, I recommend before you put your cover back on, start the machine up, work the controls, make sure none of these fittings leak when you're done. And make sure you put the bucket and everything back on the ground. Take all the potential energy back out of it. All right, we're fired up now and test it out. That's it. All you have to do is swap two pairs of hoses around and you have standard excavator controls, which is a lot more pleasant in my opinion. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.